This week on Supercars Talk, Gen 3 has been delayed once again. Basically, every seat in the 2022 field is spoken for. And we finally know what numbers Tickford will be running next year. The big news this week we know what numbers Tickford will be running next year. Uh, I know you've all been on the edge of your seat just waiting for this announcement. Uh, so Cam Waters is going to take his traditional six. We will see the five back in the fold uh, for James Courtney. Um, Tom Randall will be running the 55 and Jake Kostecki will be running the 56. So they have their nice little... Uh, I'm trying to think of um, where they all just kind of run in line and it's all happy families in there. Um, yeah, so very exciting knowing all of that. Uh, but the, probably the bigger news this uh, that came out this week, uh, Zane Goddard has announced that he will be parting ways with Matt Stone Racing at the end of the year. Um, yeah, they couldn't come to an agreement uh, probably because they've signed some drivers that are better. Uh, Anyway, um, this it pretty much is settled now. Uh, all, all the seats are taken for. The big question mark is, I suppose, the techno to techno seats there, whether they're two-year contract, uh, whether that is actually a two-year contract or whether they move elsewhere uh, at the end of this year, or, you know, maybe bring in someone with more cash or... <laughs> um, question marks on that one uh then obviously the matt Payne has to get his dispensation whether that happens or not there's a bit of a question mark there uh and then probably the be what's the third or fourth seat depending how you look at it at brad jones racing whether that will be macca once again or we uh, do you look at you know someone who's bringing a bit, well, who's actually bringing a budget, um, like say a, a Zane Goddard um, or Chris Pitha, uh, who currently do not have seats? Will it be one of those guys? Because uh, it, it looks like the Middies money with Fullwood will be taking that second seat there, uh, which is great to see Fullwood in there. Um, and you know, don't stress, uh, the other Wood looks like he's uh, moving back to where it all began for him. Uh, and of course, he'll be partnered up with uh, the truck assist kid, uh, Jack LeBrock. So, oh. All the pieces are basically in place there. Uh, yeah, the, the big question is, you know, whether any contracts kind of get broken or, you know, how watertight they actually are. And then, yeah, I suppose whether Matt Payne gets his dispensation or not. Gen 3 has been delayed once again, this time to the start of 2023. Uh, we will get to see the cars next year. Um, we're actually supposed to be getting to see them at Bathurst, running around doing demo laps, uh, and they are supposed to be doing demo laps at every round next year, uh, letting all the drivers have a bit of a, a spin in them and that, get their feedback. Uh, but we will not see them racing in anger next year. So, you know, all the keyboard warriors on the internet, you know, rejoice. Um, yeah, we won't have the tainted championship that you were so worried about. <sighs> yeah, I'm not, I don't see how all of a sudden it becomes tainted because the, the spec of the car changed during the year. Granted, it's not as big a change, uh, but we, you know, we did see the Mustang go through a range of changes the other year. Uh, and then, you know, the Altimas had changes during the year and the ZB's got their leg up and all of that during the year. So it's, it's not unprecedented to see changes to the cars during the year, just maybe not such a, a big change. Uh, I'm a little bit disappointed because I was looking forward to seeing the new less aero cars racing sooner. Uh, because in theory the racing is going to be better so I'd, I'd prefer to have that as early as possible uh, but obviously there's there's been delays with getting things done um, because of reasons uh, they're putting a lot of blame on COVID uh, probably because some decisions are you know getting made by a committee and maybe also this lets 
you know, the new owners maybe get involved in some decisions and once they've bought out the team share, so there isn't that kind of, you know, everybody needing to have their say, you know, someone can come in and say, no, you will not have your super special front uprights or whatever that cost millions of dollars to develop and maintain. Um, you know, Peter Adderton might still get his, um, you know, control front uprights that he always wanted. Uh, but yeah, I, I suppose we'll get drip fed uh, information like, you know, we're, we're getting that in-depth TV series thing from Larco on the Supercars YouTube channel that's, um, yeah, lacking a lot of substance. Uh, yeah, but I, I suppose they're trying. We will not see Earl Bamba at Bathurst, uh, but we will have, you know, a, a suitable Porsche International replacement in Matt Campbell taking that uh, the Kelly Grove seat next to Andre Heimgartner. Uh, he can't make it across. Uh, I, I, honestly, I, I can't remember if it was COVID or if it was another race that's in the way. Um, but also, there's been no confirmation on what's happening with Alex Prema as well at Tickford. Uh, I assume that they've got a co-driver waiting in the wings ready to go uh, to replace him probably why they haven't announced the uh, full lineups yet I can't see why because I as good as Premier is I'd be putting him in the slowest car anyway because he's not going to be as fast as you know Randall or Moffat basically um, but anyway that's probably a bit of a discussion for another day um, but yeah the Probably not going to see any internationals in the race this year. Uh, as far as I know, Matt Campbell's been doing some stuff in Australia. Anyway, um, and speaking of the, you know, co-drivers and Bathurst and all that kind of stuff, uh, Craig Lowndes is not taking a leaf out of, uh, you know, Tander and that's books. Uh, and he said, no, nah, I'm going to race my Porsche. I'm going to do my TV commitments. I don't give a crap because my covert driver is probably going to duff it in the wall or you know overtake the safety car or something like that to wreck our chances uh so you know who cares what i do during the week um i don't think he quite put it like that uh but you know he he said i i can do it all so i'm going to do it all the inside line tv show is around for another year that was the series that came out last year that followed erebus around in 2019 while well, they were following wagenshaw and Dreddy united around last year that's uh I'm, I'm not exactly sure when it's coming out but there is a teaser on the supercars uh youtube channel um two plugs for supercars youtube channel this week so uh maybe they'll let me start using some of their footage if i plug their channel enough anyway um, they followed Walkinshaw and Dreddy United around last year. It seems that it's a, a similar kind of um, theme of the Erebus one. I think Bruce Stewart is going to be the uh, Barry Ryan uh, black hat figure because uh, there was some expletive language in the um, official teaser thing. Uh, so, of course, he's, you know, he, he was saying that he wanted the team to do well this weekend. Um, yeah, so obviously, you know, Barry Ryan... Um, copped a lot of flack last year for, you know, wanting the best out of the team. So, uh, yeah, I guess Bruce Stewart's going to get the uh, same kind of backlash this year. And finally, the last thing I want to cover off this week, uh, I saw an interview with uh, Sean Seymour, uh, I think it was actually two weeks ago, uh, but I uh, missed it in my notes last week. Uh, anyway, uh, he came out and said that they discussed things with the fan council. Um, this still this um, a bit mysterious fan council that's out there. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure who they picked for it, but anyway, um, he said in discussion with them, it was just you know the the fans they wanted pit stop races, and we're delivering that to them with the fourth weekend at Sydney. And the fans, they wanted to see the co-drivers in the cars. And we're delivering that with the 40-minute the co-driver practice session at Sydney. Um, I think, and especially judging, you know, from the, the down in the comments uh, on my videos and people that I talk to, um, everybody actually wanted to see an enduro with, you know, fuel stops and the co-drivers. Um, a... 40 minute practice session that's not that's not what they wanted to see i just eat once again 
they're racing two 250k races on that last weekend in Sydney. They're having fuel stops. The co-drivers are there to do a practice session. Why can't we have a 500 kilometer endurance race? It cannot be cost saving because they're doing the same amount of kilometers. The co-drivers are there. Maybe, maybe, maybe if you've got, you, you can't get Alex Premer there or Matt Campbell, say. Maybe you can't get them there. Well, say, you know, eat a bag of whatever. Um, you know, that, that, that's, that's fine. You, you have to get someone from another category for the weekend. It's, it cannot be that hard for the greater good of the sport. Uh, and there was, you know, some great suggestions uh, down in the comments for, you know, different types of formats for the weekend. Um, I'm sorry, I can't remember your name right now, uh, but someone did actually mention, you know, m one weekend, let's try like the, the sprint kind of racing from back in the 90s where we had more like, you know, three 20 minute sprints on a Sunday afternoon, maybe, maybe bump them up a little bit, maybe 25 minute sprints, but have three short sharp races and have go back to that more like one qualifying session in the morning and then you have your progressive grid. And, we're having four weekends at Sydney. So if something doesn't work on weekend two or weekend three, you're going to forget it because there's weekend four and then we're straight into Bathurst as well. So it's if something doesn't work, well, at least it gave it a go. Um, I just think with everything that's gone on, you know, we're, we're happy to see racing and that. It is a very stale kind of format that they went for. You know, just maybe try something a little bit different G give us an extra enduro you know something a little bit more exciting to think about i could rant about that all day uh but i should stop here because the racing is so close now we can nearly taste it um so that is something definitely to look forward to uh yeah so rant over i'm still tubby dave down in the comments let me know what you think and until next time, I'll catch you later.